Come on to YouTube. This is your man George Page, aka the Pervy Sage, coming to you live, live on YouTube. All right. Um, last night was UFC 155 Fight Night in Nashville, and on the card there was um, three ladies fights. Uh, the first was I think was on the um, UFC Pass. It was a, a strawweight fight. Uh, Brianna Van Buren, um, another fight I forgot, fighter I forget the name I forgot. But um, the two fights I'm going to talk about is, you know, in the um, waning and struggling bantamweight division, as you know, 135. Back in the day, 135 was the the jewel in the um, UFC's uh, crown, especially for the women. You know, Ronda Rousey, Misha Tate, you know, ho you know Holly Holm, you know, those early years where it was only, at one point, it was only one division that was just Bantam, and then they brought in Straw. And Straw now is the uh, shining crown and um, the, the jewel in the in the in the crown of um, of the UFC now. So last night it was return of two fighters, as you know. Um, Julianne P was out for almost uh, at least for two years. She had a had had a had a was pregnant. She had a child, and she spent most of last year just training, getting ready, and being a mother. And the other lady on here. Um, when Nico Montano, as you know, won the flyweight championship uh, a couple years back, and she was supposed to fight um, one Valentina the Bullet Shashinko, but uh, Nico decided to um, uh, get a case of the tail and not to fight Valentina. And then that year, she, um, last year, she was popped for using performance enhancers, so she was suspended for at least about. Ooh, five to six months, and she just returned, um, was able to come back and fight. Well, this was a turn, it was the return fight for both these ladies. As Julia Pina, aka the um, Venezuela Vixen, was on a, on a pretty much of an up climb till she faced against Valentina. These were, these two have something in common. Rose, both in a way, um, well, were opponents of Valentina. Uh, uh, um, Juliana, you know, when Valentina was in 135, and and um, Nico, when uh, Valentina was was going to face her for the 125 belt, well, you know, and um, the, you know, and if you ever recall, uh, Julianne lost to Valentina, which stopped her momentum, and then she became a mother. And Nico, well, let's see, I think she was just not really ready to take on take a bullet. Anyway, this lady had went, you know. Three rounds, and it was a. From what I hear, it was a pretty good fight. From what, I'm, what I hear, so, from, from what I've seen, and um, Juliana came on top as being the uh, undisputed winner, and Nico, who went up to 135, you know, had a good showing, but she still has a long way to go. So right now, Nico is one and one, counting her defeat of Roxanne My Ferry back at a, a couple of years back, and and this loss to uh, Juliana Pena. Well, 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 I'm, well, I'm saying more wells. Last night at 155, the main event was, you know, Aspen Ladd versus Jermaine Duranamy, a.k.a., you know, GDR, a.k.a., um, uh, G uh, uh, Go Duck and Run, a.k.a. Jermaine Duranamy. You know. And she was facing off for for opportunity, my guess, as a contender against Aspen Ladd for a title shot at uh, Amanda Nunes. Well, what I was seeing from what I heard about Aspen Ladd, she nearly killed herself trying to make 135. Um, when she was getting weighed in, she just, the girl looked like she could fall and fail. You could just blow on her. And she was probably fell over. I mean, the girl, she barely could pick her arms up. And, you know, they had to, you know, sometimes, you know, when they do weigh-ins, like the official weigh-in, you know, you know, you um, in the back room, you get on a, on a, on a, a measured um, weight, weight um, scale, and then you just pose after it's done. Well, she get as far as, like, sometimes some fighters do it so they feel like they might knock off a few extra pounds by going butt naked, you know, and, you know, taking off their, um, Everything from the bra and panties, and stand behind a little curtain and see if they can make weight. It wouldn't make much of a difference. I don't know why some some fighters do it, but you know they assume you know clothes unless you're wearing chainmail. Clothes don't weigh that much. Maybe a 
teeny little bit, but not that much to make a difference between weight. Anyway, Lad and um, Jeremy fought for, you know, at least supposed to be five rounds. And this is what happened to poor Aspen Lad. She got knocked out barely 20 seconds in the first round. She, you know, I've seen the, how she got hit and she just fell and rolled over. And Herb Dean, I mean Herb Dean, you know, he's in the background. He's refereeing that night. He saved her life. Herb Dean has saved pretty much, you know, I think he, he saved Rhonda in her, in her second her, her fight with um, Amanda Nunez. He saved a couple of other fights in the past. I mean, Herb D is like the anti uh, Mario, Mario Yamasaki, like let fighters beat one to death. You know, you know Mario Yamasaki. He he was the referee at um Valentina fight with um Priscilla Cachiera. You know Mario AK. If she dies, she dies. Yamasaki. Well, Lad was being pushed as being a possible title contender. Contender. She fought a few months back. We fought um, Sarge Eubanks, and then before then she fought um, Tanya Evinger. She posted her fault um, Holly Holmes earlier this year, but Holly had some injuries, so they had to cancel that fight. Well, I feel like as um, Aspen Ladd is a pretty young fighter, and you know, and she was going to get the push because she's going to be the next great white hype for the um, UFC. But and we all know um, GDR was the former uh, featherweight champion. And she gave her a title because, you know, some say because of injury, uh, yeah, 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 you know, she beat, she beat uh, Holly Holm for the title. But uh, the, I think the fact was that I think she was scared to face Cyborg. Now, there's plenty of fighters who have injuries, and if the injury's not severe, they keep on going. They keep fighting. Like my man coach says, you're never 100%. There's always something wrong with you. If it's nothing big or something small, whatever. But, you know, um, she just decided she didn't want to fight Cyborg. And the thing about um, Jermaine Duranamy, she's a, a police officer in the Netherlands, so someone says she was probably studying for her um, for the police exam because in the Netherlands, you when you go to you go to, to um, the police academy there, unlike in America where you take six months, you know, it's almost a year or two, to, you know, because they give you they're just train you just to shoot into 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 um, the fight. They train you with more, you know, psychology and. Other things such as um, bomb diffusion and and the escalation and all that stuff. You know they really you know really thoroughly teach you how to handle situations. Unless the police in America, you know six months and you're out. I mean I was studying massage therapy. It takes almost two years to be a massage therapist and get certified. But you know they slap you with a gun and see you out and into the into the real world. But anyway, now that GDR um, put Aspen out, you know. And um, it looks like that is a good shot that um, she might have a chance at, at um, Amanda Nunes. As you know, uh, Amanda and um, Jermaine fought years ago, and Jermaine um, was beaten by Amanda. But, you know, that was a different fight at the time. You know, like I said, Coach said, you can't always use MMA math. You know, maybe you, you fought a fire this fight this time and you beat him, but sometimes even though you might beat that fire that time, things might change on that fighter. And, you know, GDR, she has, you know, she had a fight early this year. She fought um, Raquel, a.k.a. Peg Leg Pennington. And, um, you know, she looked good in that fight. And she looked good in this fight, even though it was only barely, ooh, 20, 30 seconds before she put um, Aspen out on her back. So, what's she going to go from now? Well, possibly where we might talk about, where we talking about on um, last night that GDR might face Juliana Pena, who was... At one point, a, a contender after she beat, um, after she gained her uh, her contract through um, the uh, Orbit Fighter, just like Nico, and you know she beat um, Kat Singano, and she was on her way up to she was stopped by the bullet. So the possibility that um, you know uh, Jermaine might face um, Julian P in the long in the along the way, or maybe uh, Kay Vera if she's ever um, fully recovered from her her injuries and her surgery. But uh, right now the bantamweight division is kind of like I said, still a bit of struggle, even though they put in some fresh new blood, you know. But um, I think it still has a way to go from the from his heyday. So if you like I said, it's just it's up in the air how it's going to go. And you know, Dana White's not a big fan of of um. Of GDR because what she did, but you know, he's a lesser fan of Cyborg. He's a man, George Page. Like, subscribe. Don't like. Don't subscribe. I'm out. <laughs>